which is actually September 21st, the first day of real fall. That's when we can do fall at my house. It's just a thing that we've done since we have so many birthdays in September, but I'm so excited for this fall clean and decorate with me. I'm so excited to get in the spirit of fall and the cooler, crisp weather. Let's get to it. Let's get decorating. So to be honest, my interior fall decorations are pretty minimal. I don't go overboard inside. I guess I have a zillion Christmas decorations. And so for fall, I just like to be a little more clean, crisp, minimal, just a few things here and there. And I think that really makes Dan happy as well because he gets a little bit overloaded by my craziness when it comes to holidays and seasons and that. I get it from my mother. She was an absolute holiday nut. Those are her words. But I definitely take after her in that department. And I don't know, just looking back at my childhood and remembering decorating the house for holidays and just getting in the spirit. And it's just one of my most fond memories from childhood and most fond memories of my mom. It's just something that I guess she instilled in my heart at a young age and something that I want to continue. Knowing what that felt like as a child, I want to continue that for my children. And Isabel's absolute favorite holiday, I think, is Halloween, which is so crazy because you would think that Christmas would be her favorite because she gets presents and toys, but I think it's Halloween, and I don't know if it's the spooky aspect or the candy aspect or just the excitement of that's kind of like the start of the holiday season, but I think it is definitely her favorite holiday. So even though we're not decorating for Halloween today, we're decorating for fall, and she sees the pumpkins, and that just gets her excited. So whether or not Dan loves my decorations, I don't really care. I am going to decorate, so he has decided to marry me and decided to live with me, so he gets to deal with my decorating. But like I said, and like you will see, my fall decorating inside really is pretty minimal, so I don't think it is, you know, too overbearing for Dan. I don't think he minds this. <laughs> a little crazy on the flowers and outdoor decor but I'm just so excited I cannot wait to decorate the front porch we have not had you know much of a front porch like because of just all the work we've been doing this summer so I'm so excited to decorate the front porch we also will be eventually planting some of the flowers in this bed that we've created it used to be ivy and um, it still has some ivy in it but Dan is not completely ready to um, clean the bed out. So I won't be planting them just yet. I'll be focusing on the front porch right now, but um, yeah, I'm super excited.
as you can see from the tiny little head in the lower left hand corner of the screen there, I have a little helper who woke up from her nap and I just have to say that while editing this, like while I am watching this back, this is just like bringing tears to my eyes. Just to see how much she has grown, how big she is, how cute she is, like these memories of decorating, like I don't, <laughs> these memories of decorating, I don't know, but I just like doing these small things with her and remembering this and just seeing her a part of it is just so, so special. And maybe it's just bringing me back to, you know, decorating with my mom, but I just, I feel so blessed to have started this YouTube journey to capture some of these small life moments that I never would have captured otherwise. Like I never would have filmed this. This just would have been something we did. And, you know, then we would have had a picture probably of, you know, the front porch afterward, but I never would have watched this back. And I feel so blessed and I just, this is so special to me to be able to watch this moment back and just remember the times when my children were so young and gosh, I don't want to cry right now. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional about this, but it's just so special to me to be able to create this and to be able to watch this and have this and share these kind of videos with you guys and for you guys to get a glimpse into my life or just the mom life of, you know, having two young kids and what things look like when you have little ones around and you have to work around them and you have to, you know, include them. Anyway, you get it. No more sappiness. I'm sorry for the sappy, sappy little blurb there. Anyway, while I was doing this, I had Dan on a project. I have envisioned this like little cart or wagon. So I kind of just designed it and asked Dan if he could build it. You know, another project to add to his list. I'm sure he was really psyched about. But in my defense, it can be used for fall and for Christmas. So, you know, whatever. But he is building that for me. I think it turned out so cute. Here is the final project going on the porch. Oh, I love it so much. I think it's so cute. I am definitely so thankful that I have a handy husband who is into that, that can just build me things when I need them or want them more accurately. But um, it was really cute because Dan included Isabel in the making of that. And he let her um, do some of the nailing and, you know, just really included her and she really enjoyed it. So it was really cute to see that father daughter little moment as well. And, you know, just teaching her at a young age safety around tools and just not to be scared of you know, power tools and things. And this creative filming at the moment is all Dan. I'm sorry for the weird angles and the shakiness, but maybe you'll like it. So this is Dan helping me out and filming me so that I didn't have to set up the tripod yet again. But I am just adding the finishing touches, the final pumpkins, the final, you know, aesthetic. Right, Isa? She needs flowers. Say, you need more flowers. You need more flowers! And pumpkins! And pumpkins! Work that magic! Work that magic! <laughs> in there or just in front of
up here. I just want to let you guys know that I have created a fall bucket list printable and I have it available free on my website. I will link it in the description box below, but it is a free fall bucket list printable to make sure that you get to do all the fun fall things that you might want to do this fall. You can obviously pick and choose, but I just thought it was a cute way to um, celebrate the season and help you all, you know, have something cute to, you know, check off your fall list as well. And thank you so much for watching. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I hope that you enjoy this as well. Maybe it'll give you some ideas on how to decorate your porch. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.